What's up guys and welcome back to my channel and we are back with another Boys Planet video. First off though, I do want to apologize for the little hiatus I had. Having a full-time job and also trying to keep up with YouTube is harder than it looks and harder than I originally thought, but don't worry, I found a solution to that and now we're back officially. Today we are talking about the first elimination of Boys Planet. It was last week and out of 90 something trainees, we only have 52 left that survived the elimination. This will be a shorter video, I hope, just to let you guys know. I'll only be talking about the contestants that stick out to me and my personal picks and the top nine. But before we get into today's video though, please comment down below your thoughts on the elimination and the overall rankings. I would love to know your thoughts and I've been loving interacting with you guys and reading your comments. So please let me know below. But anyway, let's get right into it. First off, I wanted to go over the trainees that were unfortunately eliminated that I was looking out for. Um, luckily, all my top nine survived, but I was definitely bummed out to see these particular trainees go. So first off, we have Oske at number 83. This made me sad seeing him rank this low because he was in like the 60 range and he dropped all the way down to rank 83. And honestly, I think he did the be his best trying to be the leader of the Hot Sauce team. And it's sad to see his rank be this low because honestly, I think he shined more than that. And I think he deserves better. Um, so next up we have Winnie who was in Love Me Right G Group, and his final rank is 80. It sucks to see how their rank drops due to their popularity and not their skills and ability. Um, Cause I honestly think that from what I saw that he definitely deserved to be higher than rank 80, but I guess, you know, with shows like this, it's a popularity contest and it is what it is. Um, so number 75, we have Achika. I was hoping at his age, he can debut and take down the belief you have to be young to like debut these days because I feel like the age is getting lower and lower and I was hoping he can make it through, but unfortunately that wasn't the case. And finally, we have Chen Renyu, who I meant to put in my honorable, mention, honorable mentions of my top nine picks video. However, I completely forgot, oops, I think he's a decent vocalist and that deserved to go farther, but he ended up at ranked number 69. Anyway, moving on, from here on out are the survivors of the elimination. So at number 52, we have Jiang Ichan. I apologize for my pronunciation and future pronunciations for that matter. Um, he was the last to be saved, and honestly, he struggled in the last mission, and hopefully he gets to redeem himself in the coming weeks. Um, I realized he was also from Island that made the group N-Hyphen, um, and honestly, on that show, from what I saw, that he has great potential, and like I said, hopefully he can do better in the next mission, and um, just wish all the best for him. Next on the list, is actually part of my top nine, and that is Lee Yidam at number 42. I'm happy he made it. He achieved his highest ranking during the show at number 42. However, that's with the benefit though, so let's hope the general audience gets to see how talented he is and great he can be, and he gets more votes and more attention, hopefully. Another top nine coming up at number 35 is Kong. He's one of my top three picks actually at this point, and he went from rank 66 to 48 to 35, and I couldn't be happier. Literally, I watched the episode just so I can get glimpses of him, and again, like I said in my personal picks video, let's do a prayer circle and hope that Mnet shows him more, and he makes it to the finale, and if you have a spot open, please vote for him. Vote for Kong, you guys, please. <laughs> I beg of you. So next up, we also have another Vietnamese contestant. It is Dang Hong Hai at rank 33. Bummer his rank went down, but so far he's done well and I could just hope he gets even better. Um, moving on at number 31 is actually someone who impressed me a little bit in the past couple weeks. Actually impressed me a lot. What am I talking about? 
He has become an honorable mention of mine and could definitely make it into my top nine if I see more. And that is not Camden. Shout out to him for getting from rank 82 from episode one to now at rank 31. I am so impressed. Um, I've been following him, you know, from the past couple episodes. And um, I, why can't we have more than nine debut trainees? Like, Mnet, please fix that. Please fix it. Anyway, moving on, at number 29, or rank 29, we have Wang Zihao, another top 9 pick of mine. I feel like his trajectory is going up, but I'm not too sure. He seems like he's getting some screen time, and he's getting more supporters, but he's only at rank 29, which conflicts me, because 29 is good, but honestly, I think it could be higher. We will see. Support Wang Zihao, you guys. Next one we're going to talk about is ranked 23, and that is Moon Jung Hyun. He definitely struggled in the last mission, I won't deny that. However, I believe he can do so much better, and his stage presence, his emotion, his facial expressions, his visual in general, is what keeps him on my radar. And honestly, I see he's going to rank higher and higher. That's what I'm predicting. So we'll see. I'm hoping I am correct. Then next, also a part of my top 9, Lee Sung Hwan at rank 20. His ranking has gone progressively lower from like rank 13 to 16 to 20, well now to 20. I'm hoping it stops there and he can make his way back up. Honestly, I've already raved in my past videos and why I like him and how much I like him. And so please keep supporting him if you do. He was a star for me in the da Danger K group performances, so please recognize his talent, if you will. Thank you so much. Please vote for him. So a trainee who just missed the top 10, who was also, you can say, my top 3, is Kim Tae Ray. Even before the show started, I was already impressed by him and was already planning to vote for him. But, you know, combining what I saw from the demo stages and what I saw in the last mission, I'm hooked in. I'm guaranteed. He's one of my top picks. One word I can say, I can describe him as, as immaculate. Get him to the top nine, people. Please, top nine, Kim Tae Ray. Let's make it happen, you guys. So now I'll display on the screen the top nine so far as for this elimination cycle. And that is Jay at number nine, Kita at number eight, Hui or Lee Ho Tech at number seven, Kim Gyuvin at number six, Zhang Hao at number 5, Han Yu Jin at number 4, Kim Ji Wung at number 3, Seok Matthew at number 2, and Sung Han Bin at number 1. Out of the top 9 based on votes, 4 out of the 9 are in my personal top picks, and that is Kita currently at rank 8, Hui at rank 7, Ji Wung at rank 3, and Matthew who is ranked 2nd. Honestly, I couldn't be happier for these. Also, I I'm not mad at Kim Gyuvin at number 6 either. I just hope they stay at top 9 and not go anywhere, but of course, anything can happen. We'll see. Honestly, a lot of people are pleased with this top 9, and I can see why. These trainees get the most screen times and their talents get to shine the most. In a perfect world, or in my perfect world, my top 9 would be the top 9, but it's okay. If this was the top 9 that we get in the end, Honestly, I'd be okay with it, but of course, in the finale, they always leave us shocked, so yeah. But anyway, that's it for today's video. It's a different setup than my other videos, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Please like, comment below your thoughts on this elimination, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys!